Hello friends, very good evening. This is Nagarajan from the Market Egoda channel. Welcome to the pre-market report. So we'll start our analysis, start our analysis at uh, 737 of 2nd June. So I'm going to start the analysis without any indicators. We'll look for just price actions and see how the price action magic works for the next trading day. So yesterday we have marked certain levels and we'll see like whether those levels has been worked for us today. So first we'll like, uh, look into the daily chart. So daily chart, the price action is uh, the red candle yesterday. The bearish candle yesterday has been engulfed, but this is not a bullish engulfing as we need to get the bullish engulfing obviously in the bottom of the downtrend. Now what we have got is it is in the sideways, need not validate this bar bullish engulfing. So we'll go to what we can understand from this or we can sense from this price action is if tomorrow this high is broken, then we will be seeing some sort of bullishness. Okay, so that is all we can sense from this uh, today's candle of bullishness. We'll go to the lower time frame one hour of for the daily. So in one hour we are able to see some good uh, cup and handle pattern. So cup has already formed. So this swing looks like a cup. For the handle to form, we need to get small retracement towards sixteen thousand five hundred forty or five hundred fifty levels. Yeah, so that is what uh, we can. Uh, that is where we can get a handle if that handle is getting failed then again definitely we'll get to see nifty in the bottom levels that is what we can see in one hour chart because uh, we are we have simply seen a good uh, what we can say like a good bullish trend but there is no retracement till this if you look at look the chart closely we have got a double bottom and we'll go to go and see in the 15 minutes chart whether how the double bottom has worked whether it has given the target or not yeah we'll see the yesterday's chart as well so the, these were these were the levels plotted yesterday so today the market opened at here uh, at 9 15 it exactly touched the low of yesterday's candle which has formed as a double bottom and this becomes a neckline so we'll see like whether the neckline uh, double bottom pattern has given the target yeah so yeah we'll go market sharply so this low and this high becomes a double uh, this becomes a double bottom and this becomes the neckline so we need to clone it and see like whether we have got the target today so target exactly the target has achieved exactly the target got hit after that only there was a small retracement this is how the price action works yeah so one who have taken this double bottom definitely after the neckline break would have booked at least like uh, 100 points in intraday so these were the lines marked yesterday so these lines uh, what i have given yesterday is yesterday this level was given as a resistance with this level as stop lots which is 16000 when the market enters 16,637 levels we can go for short that is what was my call yesterday and uh, we can see like after exactly after touching this level 16,646 there was a 40 points drop almost 40 plus points drop but at end of the intraday like last 15 minutes was bullish and it got closed exactly at the resistance so if in case for tomorrow if you are getting a bearish candle at 15 minutes in first 15 minutes then we can look for a shorting opportunity with the same level of stop loss if we are opening beyond 16,690 then the trade becomes invalid we need not look for this opportunity we can look for a bullish opportunity because already we are in a good a bullish sign and we can expect some bullishness that is what we can see in the intraday time frame so if we are getting some uh, retracement from for this uh, rally then it should be around 15,000 uh, 16,540 levels if we are getting getting a bullish signal at this level 16,540 then we can go for a buy trade in call option and the stop loss is going to be 16,445 for this bull trade so 51 points will be the target 50 55 points will be the stop loss for the trade if you are taking at 16,540 and stop loss will be 16,490 okay so if this is getting broken then again we'll be seeing another 100 points to fall so we'll keep a small stop loss and go for a trade only if we get a bullish signal 
yeah so we'll go to the so we are looking at the open interest chart so yesterday the support was lying at 16500 and it has moved towards 16600 now whereas the 16650 and 700 seems to be a good very good resistance tomorrow definitely there will be a resistance and there can be a range one market until 16700 call options are unwinding so till then we will be remaining sideways only then when the 16700 call options are getting unwinded we will be seeing 16700 to 800 levels so we have a next resistance in the, as per the price action at the level of around 16800 levels so 16745 and 778 will be the next lines beyond that we have 16882 these are going to be the levels where we can expect nifty only if the nifty is taken out at 16690 so that is all about nifty we'll go to the bank nifty so bank nifty chart if you see we got closed at 35,613 and this is going to be a insider candle if tomorrow we are getting closed above this candle 36 uh, 35,676 will be bullish and if we are closing below this level which is 16 uh, sorry 35,385 then we will be bearish that is the price action for about this candle so we'll go to the one hour one hour candle and see what has happened today so throughout the day there was a good sideways and there has been a good trend line it seems and we are we haven't crossed the trend line so it has been like pure uh, sellers option sellers day that is where the bank of tea has been in sideways for throughout the day for almost like six plus hours we'll go to 15 minutes chart and see like what has happened and we'll see have a look at uh, what has happened with our yesterday's chart so as i have uh, told yesterday this is the level where we can expect the market to be in range one and same thing has happened market has not broken this 35,700 levels or market didn't break this 35,200 levels this is a perfect sideways where we would have made good money if, if you would have shorted the options at above this lines and looking at the price action we will be getting good opportunity only when this 35,700 is broken in the upside or 35,290 is broken in the downside so same the target remains same if we are getting broken at 35,290 we will be seeing 400 points fall and if this is getting broken which is 35,700 levels 780 is getting broken we will be seeing 36,250 another 400 points 400 plus points in the upside and 400 points in the downside either side has to break for this only when this range is getting broken we will be seeing all these levels so that is all about uh, the intraday levels for tomorrow so please be very cautious if the if it is going to be in a sideways for tomorrow as well then definitely it will be a, a premium eating day so play cautiously with your options if you are an option seller the trend is definitely sideways we can go for short in both sides with just like 155 points to 200 points of uh, stop loss in bank nifty so if you are having an opportunity when it hits 38,700 we can go for a short selling at 36,300 call options with a stop loss of 35,880 that is that is one call and if we are closing below this level if you are closing below this level then we can the um, if you are touching this level which is 35,280 and we are getting a reversal then we can short 35 below 34,800 put options with the stop loss of like uh, this is going to be the stop loss 35,140 will be the stop loss and definitely will be getting a good profit and this loss is going to be very very minimum not less than 40 to 50 points with 1k of uh, risk we will be getting not less than two, uh, 1 is to 2 so that is uh, 2500 should be the target for each trade yeah so that is all about uh, our uh, nifty and bank nifty analysis on uh, for the uh, pre-market report thanks for watching the video have a nice day take care bye bye